Hey, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. How are you, Wilbur? I am. I am fine. I'm good. How about you? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Oh, that's good. What did you do today? Uh, well, I had to go to Sulutan. Oh, wow. To, I had to go uh, to bring a car mm -hmm. from there to here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good evening. I have to drive a lot. There is two hours and a half to go and two hours and a half to come here, back. All day, only to go get the car. Yeah, the whole day. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. Good evening, everybody. Hello. And what do you do, Wilbur, with the car? Is for uh, to sell, to repair, or mechanics, or, or, or what do you do with the car? Uh, <clears throat> The purpose is uh, um, what well, we went to buy it, and then we have to like do some details, and then make it ready to to be on sale. Okay, so you can sell cars. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you at the beginning of the course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that you in Santa you, Tecla, right? Yeah, in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. Near the um, near the the school, I can't remember the name. The is it near Fatima? No. No, you told me that you know a man that also well has a like a dealer. Yeah, Ch Salvador. Uh, Salvador. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's also known as a uh, Chamba. Yeah, yeah, Chamba. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. He has been doing. I have a friend that is very close friend to him. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Chamba has been doing that for many, many years. He started small, only him, and little by little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And now yeah, he, he, he imports a, a lot of cars. Yes, a lot of cars. It's good business for him. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for you, Wilbur, uh, do, do you have the opportunity to sell a lot of cars? No, no, no. I mean, I... One a month? I earn, like, commissions. Ah. You know okay. that, yeah, I have to... Well, my average is, like, uh, five or six cars per month. Hey, that's nice. That's good, Wilbur. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. bad. It's a lot of cars. Yes, it is. I also have uh, many years in this business, but uh, my purpose is to have my own cars or my own car at least and sell and buy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More money, right? It's, it's, it's all your, no, not only commission. <laughs> yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yep. Okay. And you, Jonathan, how was everything today? Oh, it was fine. It was fine. You know, uh, this week is kind of like everybody is working very easy. I don't know, <laughs> like this, very soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people said that uh, they need vacation for <laughs> resting from vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you get uh, like more tired in vacation because you go uh, to many places and you go yeah. walking or running or doing. You fall something. asleep late watching yeah. movies. And the next day you're so sleepy. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Imagine yeah. it, it was hard for me to sleep on Sunday because I was always like this. I couldn't sleep well because uh, I, I know that I have to wake up early, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I don't remember <laughs> what time I fall asleep, really. 
<laughs> but it was very difficult. You know, we get custom with the vacation. Uh, I think we usually sleep late, go to bed late. Yeah, many people, many people, they do in the vacation. Many people. They say, ah, it's vacation. I can go to sleep late. It's no problem. And then when they have to go back to work, is the difficulty. Yes, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's difficult, but, uh, and also you don't have, in, in my case, I didn't touch the computer. I didn't see the platform. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> uh, because I, I decided to do something else. Okay. But did you finish all the sections, Jonathan? Yeah. Yes, I, I did it uh, before vacation. Before vacation. Yeah, before vacation. Because I knew that that you I wouldn't, wouldn't going to touch the computer. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yes, I'm I'm like you, Jonathan. If if I know I'm going to have vacation or something, I prefer finish everything before. Yes. And then I am my mind is relaxed. I'm not oh last then you have to do you I forget need to that. Yeah. It's I'm better. Done. It's okay. You are without pressure, without any pressure. Yeah, for me, this is the best part. Mm -hmm. Well, that way you enjoy more your that way you enjoy more your vacation, right? I think so. I think you do. Exactly. So this is part of what we learned yesterday: how to use and how to describe these things. It's good that we're talking about them so we can see how we use them in a natural conversation. So as Wilbur and Jonathan are talking about about the vacation and the holidays, that's when we use the grammar from yesterday. One thing that I like about vacation is I can sleep late, is I don't have to do the platform, okay? Something that I like to do during vacation is uh, to sleep more hours or is to go to the beach. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's part of the topic from yesterday. So you can see that really you use in a normal conversation. It's not like you have to look for like, ah, it's specific or special. No, it's you talk about in general, okay? So for example, for me, one thing I like about Inglés Corporativo is that everything is online. I, I like, I don't have to worry about traffic. I don't have to worry about uh, transportation. I don't have to spend money uh, moving or gasoline. And that's how you use. Ah, one thing, the thing. So normally you, take, you have a topic, but the topic is the second part of the sentence, right? Let me show you one more time. I wanna see who was here. So normally you begin with the expression, one thing, something, or if you have two people or whatever, if you're going to be more specific, as an example, Wilbur, do you like motorcycles? Well, I don't ride motorcycles. I would like to, and I like them too. <laughs> okay. What do you like about motorcycles, Wilbur? What do you think? Maybe the speed that you can get and that you feel like free, not like where, where when you are inside of a car, it's different. You know, you can feel the wind and all of that. Okay, and that's how Wilbur is going to make the sentence. So Wilbur, let me help you. Something? Something I really like about motorcycles is that when you drive them, uh, you can feel the wind and the speed. Exactly. That's exactly how you use it. Pretty easy because it's, it's part of the normal conversation. It's not all... Oh, I need to look for something special or I need to do something different. No, it's part of the things, okay? Let me see. Leymar, you are from Venezuela, right? Yes. Leymar, tell me, what do you like about El Salvador? One thing that you like about El Salvador. Ah, uh, the distance. Something I like is the, is the short distance because we can 
we can in one day you can be in a cold weather and in the beach and the mountains in one day <laughs> in Venezuela I have to no, no, to drive hours to be in one of those places. Okay, okay. See, it's very common part of the conversation, right? So now we're gonna try and talk about it with our partners, okay? So with our partners, we're gonna make little groups and we're going to use this and we're gonna make sure that we can practice it. And we're gonna talk about things that you like. Not, we're not going to work in the platform yet, but we're gonna talk about things that you like, right? So. As an example, one thing, something, the thing, whatever you like, that it can be anything about it, Salvador, about your school, about your job, about your girlfriend, about your boyfriend. It's okay. One thing that I love, I change. See, I don't have to say I like. I use a different emotion. Or one thing I hate, or one thing I don't like, any expression you want, right? Okay. One thing that I don't that I know one thing that I love about my wife is she works at night. So it's free. I'm free. I'm free. I ah. <laughs> <laughs> like this. You say it like like if you really say it. <laughs> like I, uh -huh, uh -huh, like 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 I'm but when my wife comes, <laughs> sorry, no, no, only example, only example. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Limar, tell me, tell me, Limar, don't be scared. Um, one thing I like about my job is the schedule. The schedule. Exactly. Perfect. I love it. Perfect. Okay. Why? Why the schedule, Limar? Uh, because I don't have to work on weekends. Some people have to work Saturdays, and I hate that. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. That's good. Samantha, give me one example. Um, something that I like of virtual classes is that I can stay with in my house with any problem. Ah, uh, with any problem in my house with pajamas. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. <laughs> Ala, give me one example. Something that I miss before the pandemic is go to the gym after uh, my job okay good remember is going to the gym is going, going to the gym okay, okay. good Ada. good Ada. ivania give me an example ivania hi hey ivania uh something something that i really love is being alone in my house you see nice nice the best. Yes. give me an example what no 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 Ivani. jose jose perez oh, okay okay uh something that i really like is watch movies good remember is watching movies I'm watching movies Okay, good. Okay. Nice, nice. Let's see who else is missing. Who else is missing? Ah, Marcela. Marcela, give me an example. Something that I've been nervous about is speaking English. Ah, speaking English. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see, who else? Ah, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, go ahead, tell me. Yeah, something that, that I really love is watching classic TV shows. Okay. Yeah. What, kind, what classic TV shows do you like? I really like watching uh, a TV show that, that is called Stargate. It's from the the Nairis. Yeah. Okay, I know the Stargate. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about traveling another world through a 
through a, a portal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really great. Yeah. Okay, good. And the last example, I think, is Mario. Mario, give us an example. Hello. Hello, Mario. Mario, give us an example. Mario, you okay? Okay, maybe Mario has some problems there. Mar Mario's microphone or technical problems. No problem, no problem, Mario. We'll try to help you out. Uh, I think it's, but I think everybody understands, right? Always, if you notice, the one thing that I had to correct was the verb. How do we use the verb? Okay, is normally many times that we tend to use the verb with the ing. Um, if, if you're going to use, if you're not going to use a verb, only a description, no problem. But if you use a verb, my mom's cooking is making okay or a model okay the things that you can use those are the ideas so right now now that we are understanding and it's clear with our partners we are going to do knowledge check 5.5 5.5 you and your partner have to put in the correct form you're going to unscramble the words that are in the parentheses that's these words and put them in the correct form for number one, two, and three. Mario, you okay? No, okay. No problem, don't worry, don't worry. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes we have problems with the technology. Okay. So we have three sentences, so three minutes, only one minute, the maximum for each sentence.
Okay, guys, any questions? How is everything? You ready to check? Yes. All right, let's try number one. One thing I would be excited by is trying the local food. Ah, okay. Is trying local food. Okay. Try number two. What would be number two? Oops, I put, sorry, here's the trying page. It's trying. Okay, it's trying the local food, sorry. What about number two? The thing that I would be the most curious about. I think that? I will be the most curious about. And then number three, what would be number three? Something I will be anxious about is. Okay, let's take a look and see how all of those would be correct or not. Oh, I think this spelling because I forgot the D. I, I misspelled. Let's try that one more time. There we go. It was just sorry about that. It was just about the D. So you, all of your answers are correct. One thing I would be excited by is verb and ing, trying the local food. Um, the thing I would be the, the most curious about is meeting people my age, right? Something I would be anxious about is not understanding the language. So if you see the clue is, just remember to use verbs with ing. Is that okay? Okay. Hey, yeah. all right, good, good, perfect, okay. So now we're gonna continue on of when to use clauses with when and if, okay? Here we have a little bit of an idea. The topic is expectations, okay? So what are expectations? Well, expectations are like, what are going, what is going to happen in the future? What you think or what you suppose is going to happen in the future? Those are the expectations, okay? And we can describe expectations or talk about expectations, use a word, for example, when, right? So here we have the examples, when you visit someone, and then what do you expect? Or how are you supposed to act? Ah, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Or when you visit someone, you aren't supposed to arrive early, right? Like in El Salvador, when you visit someone, <laughs> It's kind of like the typical thing here in El Salvador. No, early, no, maybe late, but early, no. In a couple of hours. In a couple <laughs> of hours, uh-huh. Yes. And the same thing. We have the other way with the word if, the expression with if. If you want to bring someone, ah, like to a party or to a wedding or to a dinner, ah, if you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask you're not, or sorry, you're supposed to check with the host. The host is the person who invited you or the person who receives you. And then the last one, if you want to bring someone, it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. Okay, so let's watch a little bit of the video and make sure that it's clear for us what are expectations. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the US, 
when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to, either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to. Um, and so let's look at the examples at this time. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Of course, this depends on the situation. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And again, this varies among different cultures. Um, if you want to bring someone, your ex so what do I mean by a when class? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? OK. I think we're clear on that. Let me take a look at the grammar structure. If you can see, it's by, col by color. So we use when or the if clause. So at the beginning is when, that means in that moment, or if, right? Like the, the conditional clauses. Then you have the subject. In this case, you or it are the most common. You are always supposed to use the verb to be, and then the idea of supposed to or expected to. You can change it for another way, but whatever is the action, right, for the future, what uh, is the responsibilities, okay? Finally, we have the verb, and then whatever your complement is. We can have many different forms of these. This is one example, okay? Here, we've taken a look at uh, another way with the word if, okay? Like, if the service in a restaurant is good, in El Salvador, you're supposed to give a tip, right? You're supposed to leave some money for the waiter or waitress. That's what you're expecting. But in other countries, in El Salvador, they already put 10%. It doesn't matter. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Mario or Rodrigo, I'm uh, not sure. Mm -hmm. You said waiter and waitress. Correct. What is waitress? Is for a uh, woman? Correct. Waitress is for women, and waiter is for men. Oh, okay. Today is very common not to use waitress or waiter in many times, and it is now common to use the word that's in the chat. Oh, sorry. I didn't put it for everybody. There we go. Server. Server is the word that is common now. Right? Because people get offended when sometimes when you say waitress, waiter, or whatever. Ah, okay, no problem. Server is for both people. Server. It's okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. So imagine, imagine you have a friend from Canada or a friend from the United States and they come to El Salvador, what are some tips or some things you can tell them that they need to do, right? So when, when they visit El Salvador, what are they supposed to do? If you eat pupusas, eat them with your fingers, not with fork. <laughs> ah, very good. Very good, because that's using the if, not, that's a possibility. If you eat pupusas, you're supposed to eat them with your fingers. Very good. You're supposed to eat them with your fingers. What is another thing about El Salvador that you would tell a tourist? Uh. If you want to travel by bus, uh, it is not acceptable to use 
your cell phone. Ah, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not not acceptable because it's okay, but it it is dangerous. Oh, your cell phone, right? It's dangerous. Mm -hmm. It is not okay. recommendable. Ah, that's better. That's another one. It's not recommendable. Better. It's not recommended to use your cell phone. Recommended. Good, good. Anything else about it, Salvador? Did you tell a tourist? The first time I came here, one guy told me something about, if you go to the center of the city, take off your jewelry. <laughs> oh, if you go to everything, the, the watch, the earrings, take off everything. I was like, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And actually, yes, me too. They told me, in general, they say in El Salvador, don't wear jewelry. In El Salvador, it's not a good idea in anywhere to wear gold necklace, earrings, silver is okay, but gold is not a good idea. Mm -hmm. It's okay, the ideas, how to use the structure? Yes? Yes. Yes, Wilbur, it's okay? Yes, it is. Maritza? Yes. Okay, so now we're going to try and we're going to use it in our life. How are we going to use it in our life? We're going to use it for different areas. As a, imagine in your job, you have a new coworker or you have a new person. What are some recommendations that you give the new person? Ah, as an example, in my job, if you are a new teacher, you are supposed to uh, motivate the students. You, you should be early to the class, okay? Think whatever, whatever it is that you want for your job, your profession, maybe for in your community or in your area. The idea is that we want to use real uh, examples, examples that you can do really in life for tourism, for friendships, for people, for your jobs. Okay. All right, let's try a few examples and let's see how we are. Hmm. Ivania, Maritza, and Sergio, you're going to be here. And I want to hear your examples here. I think. Oh, let me give, maybe not, maybe Sergio with Eduardo. Okay with Rodrigo. Okay, go ahead. Ivania Maritza, let me hear your examples. Uh, about the a new coworker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, new coworker. What, what tips would you give the new coworker? Mm. Uh, Uh -huh, Maritza. I, I, I can say about uh, visit uh, San Miguel, for example. Okay, if remember. you visit San Miguel, mm -hmm. when, when you visit uh, someone in San, in San Miguel, you're supposed to, uh, not someone, if you, when you visit San Miguel, you, you are supposed to use a light, a dress or vestimenta? How do you say vestimenta? Yes, light clothes. <clears throat> light clothes. Okay. Okay, that's good for when you visit San Miguel. Okay. Um, for a new coworker, and uh, maybe if you want to to miss a day or it is okay, miss? Yes, it's okay. Okay, if you want to miss a day, um, um, uh, you have to, or, or is um, recommended 
to take, um, how do you say, permiso? Ah, okay. To take a permission. work permit or permission. Okay. Maybe not take, maybe ask for permission. Ask for permission, yes, ask for permission. Okay, okay, good, good. Give me some more examples. Go ahead, guys. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you want to work um, in this office, um, uh, is the custom to celebrate birthdays. Okay. okay, very good, very good. All right, let me see. Uh, Marcela, give me an example. Okay. Um, when you want to visit someone is recommend to to give him a present okay good to give to give him a present uh, to give him a present okay jonathan give me an example Yeah. Uh, if you want to go to the beach, uh, you are you are supposed to to carry your crema para broncear. Hey, Wilbur, how do you say crema para broncear? Cream sun, sun. Hey, the opposite, the opposite, the opposite. <laughs> sun cream. Sun cream, sun cream. Yeah. Sun cream. Oh, okay, the sun yeah. cream. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, Jonathan. Good, good. Marvin, give me an example. <laughs> hey, um, talking about in the world, if you need to print something, you are supposed to ask the secretary. Ah, uh, yes, very common in the jobs. You are, if you want to print something, you have to ask the secretaries. Yes, good example. Is is a real example from El Salvador. That's good. That's good. Mario, how are you? How's the microphone? Can you speak? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, I Mario. My microphone. Okay, excellent, Mario. Give me an example, Mario. Okay, uh, in my work. Okay. Okay. Um, if you are new in my work, it's uh, suppose you have to be early because it's it's not acceptable to be late. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh huh. It's common in the jobs to be early, but ah, if you are if you leave late, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't care. If you are late, you have a warning. Imagine, imagine. Mm hmm. So how do you guys feel? Do you feel good? Does anybody want to give me one more example? They want to check to make sure? Ah, si no los llamo, no, se, no son voluntarios. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Leymar? Can you do workout? You have to warm up first. Ah, very good for the gym. If you do a workout, you have to warm up first. Okay. Rodrigo. Give me an example, Rodrigo. If you if you want to have a, a good night, you have to take, it's acceptable to take a, a shower before. Okay, okay, two, yes. two. Okay, so I think everybody understands. It's pretty clear, You the examples are good, right? It's very good. So what are we going to do now? Now we have our knowledge check, 5.8. What happens in our knowledge check? Well, really, it's only you look at the sentence 
and you select with your partners what you have, okay? Now we're going to do, this is two parts. Why? Because one part is we need to select the correct answer. But the second part is what is the tradition for us in El Salvador? So for example, with my partner, if my partner is Samantha, and I say, Samantha, if you plan to visit someone at home, and then Samantha, oops, and then Samantha gives me her opinion. Samantha, if you plan to visit someone at home, how do we complete in El Salvador? Um, you should call first ah uh, yes you should call first this is good another example wilbur if you plan to visit someone at home i should um uh, take something to give them very common very common also right and you see it's your idea so you have two things one complete from the platform and two complete with your ideas. Any questions? No, it's it's okay, the idea? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, it's okay. All right, perfect. So remember that that is 5.8. Let's try it. Sorry.
Okay. So let's take a look and see how everybody is doing, right? Number one, if you plan to visit someone at home, You're supposed to call first. Okay, good. What about two? If you've been to a friend's home for dinner. It's custom, it's the custom to call and thank him and thank him or her. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you have invite, when you have invited to a wedding, should it be when you have been invited to a wedding? You're yeah, expected like, to respond in radio. Respond in writing. in writing. Okay, you're expected to respond in writing. When you go out on a date, it's acceptable to share the expenses. Ah, uh, not in El Salvador, but okay, it's a good idea. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not in El Salvador. Uh huh. That's too bad. In a restaurant, it's good. You're expected to leave that tip. Okay, you're expected to leave a tip. And when you meet someone for the first time, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's not appropriate, right? Okay. So let's see how we did. Ooh, amazing. So we should be well in our platform also. You should be doing excellent on using all of this, okay? On relative clauses and using the idea for expectations. Any questions at this moment? No? No. Okay, I love to hear that because that means you are going to have a 10 on the exam. When I say any questions, no, it's a on the exam minimum <sighs> okay guys great so now that we're we're almost wrapping up this is the idea for us with unit five tomorrow we're going to be taking a look at review why because this weekend that means we have tomorrow wednesday and thursday then third the idea is that we're going to have review so that that way you can do your exam comfortably. You can do your exam with confidence. And you say, no problem on the exam, okay? So let's, don't worry. I'll show you a little bit, one more time. This is the last part of unit five. If you see the next part after 5.8, that's it. It's just the exam from A, B, C, D, and E, okay? So the first part is don't worry tomorrow, we're not going to begin the exam, but the idea is tomorrow we're going to take a look at the review and make sure that everything is clear before you do the exam. Right now, what we're going to do is we're gonna have a normal conversation with our partners. We're gonna get in our groups and we're gonna ask and talk about plans and future, okay? Ask your partner after class, what do you do after class? Where are you going to go? What happens, okay? So how do you study? When do you study, right? So the idea is to ask WH questions. So if Samantha is my partner, I say, hey, Sam, what do you do after class? Depending what Sam answers, I continue the question. If Sam says, I cook dinner, or if Sam says, I watch TV, then I ask different questions. Ah, what do you cook? What do you like to eat? What, what do you like to prepare? Or if Sam says, I watch TV. Oh, what series do you watch? Or what movies do you like to watch? But the idea is just to have a small conversation with our partners. Okay. We're ready? Yes, we're ready. Yes. Okay, do you need any vocabulary? Do you need to, anything? Hey, como se dice, hago huevo fritos or something like that, no? No, oh, okay. No, no, all right, I like it, I like, it. let's try it then.
All right, let's take a look. Wilbur, welcome back. We're just going to go to our groups and talk about the things. Okay, guys, so any questions? Yes, I have one. 
Eh, how do you say that a, a movie was entretenida? Entertaining. Entertaining. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? How do we say en la carrera eh, eh, de licenciado en turismo? So it's tourism degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? How do you say when you are not invited to a party and you go? Ah, you crash the party. Crash? Mm -hmm. Okay. This. Just like an act. Crash. <laughs> Arrocero. Arrocero. <laughs> okay. He eats a lot of rice. <laughs> no, I don't know. Have you, ever a, have you ever crashed a party? Not in my case. Oh, someone said yes. Let me see. Who said yes? Leymar. Lemar, ah, arrocero, ah, arrocera. All right, Lemar. <laughs> I did once. Mario too. Hey, Mario. Too. Lemar only her body and she go. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't matter where is the party. Yeah, it doesn't matter where or who. <laughs> or who yes. Friends wherever, no problem. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You're the one who tells the words in the wedding, huh? <laughs> like the like the movie, right? The uh, I think it's the Wedding Crashers or the Wedding Ringers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mario, what about you? Tell us about your experience, Mario. Um, uh, it was uh, a birthday party. Okay. I was not invited because uh, it was supposed we are not longer friends. <laughs> but anyway, I, I went to the party. And they don't care that the ex friend, ah, whatever. <laughs> but after the party, uh, we, uh, we are friends uh, again. <laughs> I don't know how to say. Ah, okay, okay. So it was a, a good idea. <laughs> At yes. the end. In the end, it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was the reconciliation. <laughs> Yay! It's the party for the reconciliation. Yes. <laughs> for the makeup. That's right. For the makeup. Okay, guys. Oh, pretty good. So tell me, what did you learn about your partner? What does your partner do after class? Or what do they like to do? Well, my partner told me that what he enjoys the most is playing with his son. Okay, that's nice. After work. It's a little difficult because the class you finish very late, nine o'clock. Ah, but he said that after work, I think between at the end of the work and before beginning the class. Ah, good idea. Yes, because for the children it's difficult to stay up late. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yeah. Anyone else? Mm, everybody is so shy. I, I always very curious. I have a question that is not about the conversation. Hey, Mario. Uh, tomorrow we are not in video conference. Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, okay. Teacher, when is the, the end of the course? The uh, other week? The next week, yes. Next week, Tuesday is the last day. Tuesday, right? Yeah. By Monday, we had to... Uh, finish the test, right? The final Correct. test? Correct. The test and have your diploma. 
Mm -hmm. That is the idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Good night. Good to see you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good to see we'll you guys. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank bye, bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.